Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Good morning my dear friends, greetings to you in Jesus name. This morning, wherever you are, whatever season of life you are in, let me remind you that God is in control of your life. He is in charge of your destiny. He is Lord over your circumstances. No matter how many times you may feel not equipped enough or inefficient or uh, you or you feel like you do not have all the resources in life to reach your goals, you need to know that God in you is more than enough. God's presence in you is all that you need. God fighting on your behalf is all the help in the world you need. You don't need no people, no church, no ministry, no leaders, no advocates, lawyers fighting for you. All you need is God on your side. And when God is on your side, your greatest weaknesses, your biggest struggles, your ugliest you know, sins and faults and mistakes will turn into your biggest blessings. Let me read an excuse that Moses shared to the Lord in Exodus chapter 4 and verse 10. The Bible says he pleaded. He's not even asking God or he's not even sharing with God. It says, but Moses pleaded with the Lord saying, O Lord, I'm not very good with words. I never have been and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue-tied and my words, they get tangled. So this is what Moses says. He says, I'm not, you know, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not a good orator. God, you're looking for a spokesperson. You're looking for a prophet. You are looking for somebody who can speak on your behalf. And if you're looking for somebody like that, I am not the right candidate. You know, he would have been thinking, God, if you have any other job vacancies, any other responsibilities that doesn't require public speaking, because my biggest struggle is that I'm not very good with words. My biggest weakness or limitation could be that I have I have never been on, I am not now, and I am still tongue-tied. You know, I know that you have spoken to me. I know that you have given me this assignment, but you haven't healed me yet. You haven't helped me yet. You haven't provided for all my needs and my struggles and my brokenness yet. Will you find somebody else? This is not my cup of tea. That is what Moses is screaming out to God. In fact, he's pleading to God. He's begging and he says, God, this is something I cannot do. Now, I know that many of you that are listening to me, you are pregnant with divine, godly, purposeful dreams in your spirit. And yet, you experience this physical lack, lack of support or lack of ability or lack of finances, or lack of even anointing. And you may be thinking, God, look at me. How am I going to ever do what you want me to do? If it did not require public speaking, if it did not require so much money, if it did not require so many people, probably I could have given it my best shot. But this looks impossible in my ability. This looks impossible in my strength. I have never been good at this. Uh, I was not born with the natural ability to sing well or to uh, speak well or to uh, talk to people well or to do relationships or counsel well or to be good with children. This is not my natural suit. Can you please find somebody else who can do this even better than I can? And Funny enough, whenever God does pick somebody, He is not necessarily looking at their strong suits. I'm not saying that God cannot use your strengths, that God cannot use your abilities. 
if you have a great voice naturally you've been born with it amazing god can use those things and yet god has this uh, uh, pattern of picking up people who think they are good for nothing who do not estimate themselves as qualified to serve god and those are the people that god would use the most for example you would see a murderer in the new testament a persecutor of the church in the new testament a guy who uttered and did blasphemous things against god in fact the bible says jesus when he appeared to him jesus said saul you're persecuting me god was hurt in the bargain of paul's ambitions and and yet god said this is the man that i would like to select this is the man that i would like to use this is the man that is going to build my church <laughs> i mean that doesn't make sense now this jesus who made peter the the cornerstone the 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 foundational stone for the new testament church jesus looks at peter and says hey i'm giving you the keys to build the church i'm asking you to go and feed my lamb i'm asking you to go and take care of your brothers make sure to strengthen them and peter would be thinking to himself saying i am not qualified to do this i have denied jesus i have so many doubts i have sunk into the water the last time that i tried imitating jesus i i don't think that this is my cup of tea now if you're looking at me this morning or if you're listening to me this morning and you're thinking man i feel the exact same way let me remind you this when god speaks to you when god calls you out when god ordains you it doesn't matter what you have or what you don't have all that matters is how humble are you in his presence how receptive are you how moldable are you how available are you how willing are you how surrendered are you how much prayerful are you how much aligned to his ways and principles are you are you somebody who is trying to do things your way or are you trying to lean in and surrender and give in to his way if you're somebody who is willing to surrender yourself you have no idea what god can do through a tongue tied man through a backbiter through a backslider through a gossiper through an adulterer through a murderer it doesn't matter your weaknesses and your past and your struggles they do not limit god so are you willing to surrender yourself to the lord once again this morning if yes pray with me lord here i am just like moses said just like abraham said just like isaiah said and just like jesus said here i am send me here i am use me here i am take me mold me do whatever you want to do through my life i'm all yours in jesus mighty name We hope you are encouraged by today's podcast. To know more about Pastor Preeti or other resources you can avail, or to receive help in any specific area, connect with us at pastorpreeti.com. We wish you a Christ-filled day ahead.